Hey, uh, that's your, uh, you know they're making a, a documentary about us? Who is? Uh, they are, like the people right there with the cameras. Why? Uh, they want to tell the story of the Feld Show. They want to tell your story. Our story. <laughs> like my story's a little too NC-17 if you know what I'm talking about. Well, I think this is going to be unrated. Is that true? Yeah, is it going to be unrated? Oh, oh fuck yeah. Alright, here we go. Woo! Every show that we do is put together within a span of weeks. There's a lot of shows that we've done where we've had a lot of material kind of in the bank, and lately we've been able to put together a different style of show. I came to Lawrence. I was a KU film grad from 2000. I went to show my friend a lion puppet, and uh, he was just like, you know, I make puppets. I just met Paul through some mutual friends after like a solid like two months of knowing him. He's like, oh, hey, by the way, I'm a puppeteer. Well, that's some like first week you know somebody kind of conversation. I started just trying to do a project after project. So then eventually I stopped like, hey, I should maybe write a show with the puppets that I have. For the last 12 years, all I wanted to do was write uh, creatively. And then like, six months ago, I got really into the performing side of things. I thought it was really cool because I've always had like stage fright, but having a puppet representing what you're doing and you're down here makes the stress of that kind of go away. When you're a puppet, you have no, almost no self-awareness because you can watch your performance. Every show that we do is put together within a span of four weeks. So we start the idea the first week of the month, and then by the last Friday of the month, we have our show together. We have the script written. Uh, Ethan wrote the script. It is a uh, choose your own adventure show. We are starting on rehearsals this week. By the end of next week, we'll probably have had three rehearsals through, made a lot more tweaks. And then you know, by the end of the month, we'll have our show ready. It is exciting to kind of be on that crunch time every single time we put a, put a show together. We're never ready. Like I, that's kind of a secret, but it's we're always gonna be ready. I'm really proud of it. I think it's gonna probably be uh, our best show. <laughs> wow! Oh my god! Oh my god! Fuck oh my god. <laughs> this guy! Time freeze! <laughs> ah, that never gets old. Ah, well, will our boys take the teleporter? Or chill out, relax and relax, and eat some tacos. Or maybe take back and enjoy a free anal pro. I mean, it's hard to say where it's gonna go. Uh, each show we do, we're definitely pushing ourselves forward um, and challenging ourselves to have a, uh, a better show than the last one, in one way or another. Whether it's like a funnier show, or it's a higher level production, just in set design and everything like that, or we just are able to build up our like stable of actors and characters and all of that. Um, I mean, I'd like to see to the point where it's at least locally recognized um, and, uh, you know, to the point where everyone in town at least has heard of Felt Show and has maybe seen one and kind of gets what it is. Like, what did you guys think? Wasn't that fun? Oh shit! Okay, we can go back. Let's go. One second. Well, they can't hear us, so I guess. I'm, Wait, so let's I'm go just back to the beginning. Though. Let's start back from the beginning. Okay, right, you want to go? That's all, folks. Hello. Get the fuck out of here.